Yeah. 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 We will get those things cleaned up, and uh, and we're moving on, looking forward to starting Big Ten play. But we still have all, all our goals in front of us, so that's that's our mindset right now. All right, we've got questions on both sides. Let's start with Jack. Age seven hundred thirteen yards. That's the most a Michigan State team has ever given up. What was it that Washington was doing that you couldn't deal with? <clears throat> First of all, give them credit. They're a good football team. I didn't realize that. I'll never forget that, though. Um, first time being the head coach in the game, and I remember all of this. I promise you, I remember every single a bit of it. Um, but they're, good, they're, 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 they're the quarterback and the receivers and the, and the OC are, you can tell, like, they have a real good understanding of that offense. They know where to be. They know they trust each other. Uh, the receivers have great hands. They, they go up and get the ball. They have, they have strong hands. And uh, quarterback, good player, knows, knows where to go with the ball. They, they've probably seen all kinds of different schemes over the, over the years. So they, they, they vibe well together. And, uh, and credit to them, uh, they, they, they did it. And we definitely went to, uh, into the game thinking, hey, this is what we have to do. We thought we had a well uh, a plan, a, a well oiled plan. But, uh, no. Hi, Arlen. Um, everyone acknowledges that there's a big day. Earlier this week, you did acknowledge your faith. How does your faith play a role in this, and how do you impart that onto your players during today's experience? Uh, that's a good question. Um, my faith is, uh, should be never waver, and, it, and it isn't. Um, out there a couple times, almost, 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 but um, you know that's never going to change. You, you, you go up and down. Your faith, if, if you truly in to the word like like I am and I say that I profess that I am. There are ups and downs. There's there's the valleys you hit, all right, as well as the mountain tops. So, you know, this is a valley moment. This is a valley moment. Uh, and the good thing about it is you can always come back from valley moments if you truly believe and and, and trust and and, uh, and and then start to work on the things that need to be worked on. And so valley moment right now, but we'll we'll get back up to the mountain. Garland, for all the you know, turmoil this week, um, what, you know the build up to this game. You come out, everybody's you know obviously a crowd that's very supportive of you. When you go in a locker room down thirty-five to nothing, you know what's the what do you tell the team? What's the attitude? And I guess how do you think they handle? Now looking back on this whole week, all that was put on the plate and, and for you personally. Obviously. Right. When I when I came in at halftime, because I'm always trying to put a positive twist on something. I mean, you can't just just lose your mind. And then you know, then they go further in the dumps. So you try to put a pos some type of positive spin on. So I just said, one play at a time, six seconds of play, keep chopping. That's what that's what I said to them. Uh, one play at a time. Just don't try to get it all back at once. Just one play at one, one play at a time, six seconds of play, keep chopping, and say it to each other over and over and over. And that's all we could do at that point. And uh, and that's what we tried to come back out and do in the second half, but still not really. And so. Again, I have to be better. I will be better, and the team will be better uh, coming this uh, going into the Big Ten season. Chris, All right, man. I think 536 passing yards allowed, in particular from from the secondary and, and the pride that's there. What what do you think needs to change and be fixed with that? Because there have been a lot of number a number of games the last few years like that, and I, I guess. You know, moving forward and looking at that guy in the other room, what did Penix? And how good is it to not have to worry about seeing him again? Uh, that was real good. I mean, he's a guy that's uh, in, the, in the Heisman Trophy, Kansas City right now. Um, you know, there are a few things that we can change up, uh, probably on, on uh, how we scheme things up. We have the defense to do it. It's a matter of what we want to call and, and play. And we thought we had the right thing, things uh, dialed up for this week. And, uh, Apparently they weren't, so um, we'll we'll tweak some things and try to you know help us to not give up those type of yards again ever, and uh, and, and so um, I'm 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 I am actually uh, ready to, to focus in on Maryland so much so that 
just watch them tonight and then start focusing on those guys and, uh, and, and, and so we can be better. Steve. Um, right here. I'm just wondering what you saw and heard uh, from your staff as well about offensively. It seemed like Noah was maybe under more pressure lately than we've seen uh, the past couple of games in the run game. Just wasn't able to get going as well. What are your overall takeaways on that side? Right, um, exactly. We couldn't, we couldn't, you know, really what they say, stay on schedule without you want to run the ball or whatever your first down pass would be. And then, you know, just to keep you on schedule, if, you, you, if you're not on the schedule, if you can't get the, the three yards or what have you on first down, now you're off schedule. They got to kick us off schedule and, uh, and caused us problems when we got off schedule. Uh, again, very good, very good team. Uh, but it's a good experience to just to see what top 10 teams look like right now for our team. So they see it. Oh, that was a, okay, I, we see what a top 10 team look, looks like. And uh, and so now we know what we have to do to start uh, preparing. If, if, if we want to be that type of team or, or better, we have to start preparing like that. Move, you know, we know we've seen it. No disrespect to Richmond and Central, but that was a different group as everybody saw out there. And our guys saw it themselves. So they, they I, I spoke with them. They were like, hey, man, hey, we, we got to be better. They even were saying that after I spoke with them. Okay, we, there are things that we have to do in there. And you heard leaders stepping up. Everybody be somewhere, be here, blah, 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 tomorrow. Everybody, da, 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 this week. And so um, that, that was good to see. Okay. Well, now that you've been through it sort of in hindsight, can you speak to what this week was like for you and this team and, and how disruptive and difficult it was, and any challenges is a first week head coach in week three of a season that you sort of ran into that you, you, you know you could have known about until you're actually in that role. Well, and, and any, I think you got challenges anytime uh, around on when you start something new that you haven't done. So not not so much so that it, because it's week three, it could have been week one. I got hired back in January, whatever. There were there were things. Um, that I just hadn't that really have to deal with, you know. I had to do a press conference, you know, uh, during the week when I was when I was just defensive back coach or second secondary coach, what have you. And so um, there were a lot of different things that, that came about, but it's going to all settle down this week. I know that, and, uh, and we'll get back. I've got some things in my mind that I want to do uh, as far as me coaching. Try to get up, almost normalize us again. Where this past week we were off kilter a little bit, and, and but but we still got good enough coaches to, to get it done. But I'm gonna get myself back like I need to be doing and helping, and uh, I think that that'd be better for the team as well. Coach, you were at the follow up with Graham said you were thrown into the situation you're now that the head coach after a game like tonight. How do you galvanize this team, get them back together, and then how do you put the imprint that this is now your team? Um, one, one is like oh, I, I told him in there. Okay, look, man, no more penalties like this. And, you know, we can't be having those type of penalties, substitution errors, missed tackles, and things like that. We can't shoot ourselves in the foot. We can't beat ourselves. And so I, I told him, I said, you know, as as the leader, as the number one leader here. Um, I have to be better, and I will be better. And how I'll do that is kind of like what I was just saying, the ground. You know, this past week, I, I, I had a lot of time away from just the football aspect, trying to connect with the guys more. And I still got to finish up some of those guys, but uh, I'm, I'm going to try to get back to what I was doing and normalize us a little bit, and for the young men as well. Uh, and that way, everybody is back to normal roles a little bit, if I say, can say that. And uh, we can just do what we have to do. So, um, you know, when, when that happens, you know, I think it'll be better for us. And if we are a week away from what happened. So uh, those guys are that's out their system. We played a game, played a really great team. And so I think they're ready to go and understanding that, hey, all our goals are still in front of us. So that's a good thing. For the second round. Uh, Coach, uh, Darius Snow, finally back from uh, that injury. Uh, how excited are you to have him back to that defense and what do you think he's going to be adding to that unit going forward? I'm very defense? excited that he's back. I love me some Darius Snow. Mr. Snow Flurry is what I call him. But he's, he's a um, very, very, very smart football player. And he's tough and a good tackler. And so he was so excited when he got cleared 
last week, running around telling everybody, I'm cleared, I'm cleared. You get on the bus in our defensive staff room, I'm cleared, I'm cleared, I can play. And so really, really happy for him because he busted his butt to come to be able to get back. Because there was that one time saying he, he wouldn't be able to get back till mid-season. And so he really, really busted his butt, and he's, he's going to help us. Matt, and then Chris, do you want to help? Harlan, real quick, do you have an update on Tiny Hill? Uh, obviously, you know, I did. When I went in, I just talked, talked to the players, and then I, I pretty much came over here. Okay. So I didn't get an update. Okay. Yeah. I was wondering, with, with uh, Jaron and Joe, um, Burger out, you know, there's a lot, and, and even Martinez, that's a lot, you know, to ask a short-handed backfield to advantage it, you know, with Nathan taking the carry. I guess, how much does that, the lack of depth kind of, you think, affect your performance in the run game? Well, you know, we, every guy that would come here, including myself, will say there's no such thing, there's no excuses. So, uh, even those guys would say that. There's no excuses. We gotta just get it done and find a way to get it done. We, we had the guys that we had, and so we got to perform. That, it's just that simple. It really is. Chris, last one. Uh, along those lines, uh, Tumiche and, and Ken, we didn't see them get hurt last week. Um, they, what is their status with the program? They'll, they, they'll be back this week. They were just out this week. They okay. just out. We just had them out this week. And, but they'll, they'll be back. And have you had anybody with the situation that's happened that has approached you to say, we want to shut it down? Again, Has anybody said they want to shut it down and not play anymore the rest of the year with the uncertainty with the coaching situation? Uh, nobody has said that. Not not one guy. No, not one guy has said that. So um, that's a good thing. And, and hopefully uh, these guys won't do that. You know, they'll they'll look at hey, let's, let's finish this thing out. You never want to be a quick. You know what I mean? So hopefully everybody will push through and, and see what's really in front of us. Like you said, all our goals are still in front of us. And so let's go attack the Big Ten season. Yes.